So here we have the HPG1 Pocket Function Generator. So what do we have in the box? Unit manual in different languages. A small function generator itself. We have the USB charger. So you can charge the unit using a USB port. And here is the input for the charge voltage. Then we have some accessories. We have a converter from BNC to regular jack or wire output. Or for audio, we can use this adapter so that we have an RCA output. Now to demonstrate the unit, I will use our HPS140 pocket oscilloscope. I will connect the oscilloscope with the generator with a straight cable. Just like that. So first we'll turn on the unit. See the startup screen. Here I will show you how to change the settings. To go into the settings menu, we keep pressing this button. What we see here, we can change the language, different languages, we can change the contrast of the LCD, we can set the LCD in reverse video if you want. The frequency steps you can change to linear or logarithmic. This is uh, the way that the frequency will change if we keep the buttons pressed in the other settings. And then there is also a demonstration mode. To exit the menu we keep pressing again this button. So what do we have here? We have the waveform, you can see preview here, we have the frequency indication, we have the frequency step. This is a step that will be used if we change the frequency. We have the readout of the voltage or dBm when it's a sine wave and the bottom line will show us the voltage output. So first I will change the voltage output, you see the output here indication is changing. Now to show all this we will turn on our little HPS 140 oscilloscope. So this one is in full auto setup, you can see that the sine wave is showing on the HPS 140. So what we can do here select for instance the waveform and now you see if we select any other waveform square wave triangle or sine wave it will be shown on the oscilloscope screen change the frequency here we will change for instance the step of the frequency if I now change the frequency, it will go in steps of 10,000 Hz. Or we can change the output voltage. Next I will show you the sweep function. To enter the sweep function we keep pressing the menu button. Ok, 
okay now we see here that we have entered the sweep menu settings here are change the frequency from 7000 Hz to 560,000 Hz we can change these in the step of 1000 Hz or 100 Hz whatever you want to set for instance here I will increase or decrease to 6000 Hz so now it will start from 6000 Hz to 560,000 Hz we can also change how this frequency will change from minimum to maximum in a logarithmic way or in a linear way so this will change from minimum to maximum in a linear way or we can set it to by linear way or by logarithmic way so now it will change from 6000 to 560,000 and back then we can also set the speed in which how we want to change this frequency so for instance I will select here 0.2 Hertz now on the screen we will see that the frequency is changing slowly between 6000 and 560,000 and back. 